Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, this week I thought I would go and restore this original uh, Game Boy uh, from my childhood uh, and my brothers. Uh, my dad found it in the loft uh, a couple of months ago actually and he found when he turned it on it does turn on and it's got sound there you go but the buttons don't work so I think the contacts underneath will need cleaning um, might need a little bit of a scrub see it's got sound but we can't start the game we can go left and right we can't press start either a and B don't do anything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and restore this uh, original Game Boy back to its former glory or as close to. So, we're going to give it a, a good clean because it's been, you know, used for many years and then left in the loft for about 20. Uh, and then we're going to take it apart. We're going to replace the where this is stuck together on the actual screen protector. And I think we're going to take batteries out and give the contacts a bit of a clean. You see there's a bit of corrosion there and a bit at the top as well. So we'll give them a clean. And so the equipment that you'll actually need for this is a proprietary screwdriver. It's called a tri-wing. So it's got three sides. On like a regular screwdriver because the screws have three little wings on them and these only cost a couple of pounds from ebay or amazon so it's not too much of an investment to to do this uh, you'll need some washing up liquid some isopropyl alcohol try and get 99.9 percent .9 so you can clean the board inside some vinegar to clean the uh, dirt off the contacts so the corrosion as well as a regular screwdriver and you'll need one of these a soldering iron nothing too technical with this but we'll show you later so first of all we'll take it apart and give it a wash so first off we'll take off the four screws here and the two screws located behind the batteries here and here. Now be careful when you're opening this because there should be a ribbon cable connecting the screen to one of the boards at the back. Yep, yeah, seems to see that just at the back there. You got you have to be careful with it, just try and be as even as you can. So the board actually looks quite clean inside. It doesn't look like any of these capacitors have uh, leaked or bulged, so that's quite good. It's about to sign on for a moment. So now I'm just going to use a regular Phillips screwdriver. It's a small one just to take off the rest of the boards. You see these are brass in colour and they've got the regular Phillips. There we go. That's where the cartridge goes in. Oh, you can see a little bit of uh, paper that's got wedged, so I'll take that out now. So now we've just got the the shield and the power button to come out. See, they've got this little clip there. That's what's keeping these contacts in place. So if we use a small screwdriver. Just a 
push down in there. And that should pop out the other side now, reasonably easily, like that. So I'll put these in some vinegar, and that should help take away the corrosion. Let them soak for a bit and uh, give them a scrub. All right, so these battery contacts have been in the vinegar for about 20 minutes now, so I'm going to pick them out. Just give them a bit of a dab. Get some of the excess vinegar off and see about just cleaning away any debris from the corrosion. Yeah, so the vinegar has softened that up quite quite a lot. So I might put that back in, see so you can see some of the that focus in. See some of the uh, corrosion there coming off on the bud. That's softened up quite well. I'll put that in for another soak. Right, so we cleaned the buttons and the rubber membranes in the bath. Uh, but now I'm just going to clean where these buttons actually press, which is here and here, and on the D-pad here, and the start and select here. So I'm going to clean that with a little cotton bud and some of the isopropyl alcohol. And that'll take away any grease and uh, debris that might have gotten through on the buttons. You'll need a bit. And this will just evaporate away once once you're done. So just just a touch coming off there. So there's something there stopping the connection. go on each of the areas where the buttons press down on the motherboard there uh, you go you can see that's come off don't have to go too hard let the alcohol do its work just making sure that there's nothing no debris grease stopping the connection when you press the buttons there you go you can even do the same on the speaker where the some dust has gone through the, the speaker grill. Just ever so gently just remove that with the same pad. Don't need any more moisture on it. And that'll take away all the dust that's collected on, on there. Might as well since we're in here. There you go, you can see. One thing I have noticed when you're putting the battery contacts back in is that uh, the one at the top is numbered differently to the ones at the bottom. So this one here says W1 there. And these two that go at the bottom are called W2. And then they are different, slightly differently shaped. And this one pops in, you see the little clip at the back? That clips in there. There we go. Ah oh, there. That one clipped in. Now for the last part of the uh restoration. I'm going to be fixing the vertical lines that is a appear on the screen when you're playing the game. 
the break up the the pixels and they go up and down on the left and the right uh, so what I'm going to do is put it together keeping the front case off just power it on with the game in and then I'll reattach the ribbon cable for the screen okay so that needs to be done off camera because that was a bit fiddly so now I can place that here turn it round put some batteries in get the battery cover, put that back on get the game, slot that in hopefully this one will still come to life yay ok so I'll adjust the contrast on that there we go so we can read it volume off so we have these vertical lines here so first of all we're going to get this rubber pad here that goes along the bottom of the screen we're going to remove that and that's going to reveal uh, some part of the circuit that we're going to apply some heat with a soldering iron So I've got that with a bit of tweezers there. I'm just going to gently pull this away. Okay, so I've pulled the rubber tab off and there's still some of the adhesive in place. So I've just been gently scraping that along. Just taking extra care. There you go. And that's the last bit of adhesive gone. And then whilst the game is playing in the background, the little demo, we're going to add some heat from a soldering iron. I just got this one from Maplin's like 10, 15 years ago, just the cheapest one. And we're going to apply heat and not stay in the same place for too long because we do not want to create a screen burn. Uh, I it will. So we're going to go gently left and right and you should be able to see the lines adjust and hopefully go away So keep going and this should go eventually so they're breaking up there getting less th less dense just little tiny hairline lines now just give it a break don't want to put too much heat on it's the last bit there There we go. Oh, there we go. So I might go over that a few more times just to make sure that is a bit more permanent. But yeah, now all the uh, vertical lines have gone. Okay, so one of the final things is to remove some of the old uh, adhesive residue from the old glass. And I'm just going to scrape that very gently with a flat headed screwdriver.
long as all the raised spots are gone, that should be fine. So most of that is gone. I'm just going to dip a Q-tip or cotton bud in some of the isopropyl alcohol. That should get rid of the majority of the rest of it. And at least it'll be a clean surface for the new glass to go in place with the adhesive that I'll put on. Okay, so before I uh, assemble the Game Boy, I'm going to clean the actual screen itself. I'm just going to use one of these wipes that you use for your glasses. And the moisture should just evaporate off. Okay, so I've screwed in the back motherboard and the uh, heat shield and now I'm just going to pop the buttons back in. Get the uh, pads on. There we go. and the uh, start and select buttons All right, and we've got to get this together screen motherboard has to pop over this with the speaker going in in its little holding there we go Let's have this open like this on the other side. Make sure the speaker is located. And then we're going to put the 10 screws back in. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, so that's the screws in. So everything is secure inside. The ribbon cable's in place. So this should just clip together now. It's got the six tri-wing screws to put in. Always turn counterclockwise first so you can make sure that you're not cross-threading the plastic inside because it is old, you know, it's 30 years old, so you make sure that we're not damaging the threads. There you go, it's the last screw in. Now the last thing to do is to put the glass back on. Now, the only thing that really uh, you know kind of uh, the only thing that really ruins the look of this old Game Boy is the old glass. As you can see. It's uh, got quite a lot of scuffs and scratches on it, and a lot of the paint on the inside has come off. Uh, so the only thing that I'm getting that is new for this is a brand new glass with some self adhesive on the back. So, yep, the screen is still clean, so I'll put that on now. Just peel off the uh, backing. There you go, obviously it's uh, 
absolute fingerprint magnet. But it does have a little protective layer of plastic on the front, just to peel off. There we go. Now we've got your proper screen. So, let's put some batteries in it. Turn it on. All right. Awesome. And it works! Hooray! Oh my god. Obviously doing a terrible job because I'm looking at it through the camera. Alright, so that is it completely restored. Alright, well, so this Game Boy actually restored for my dad for Father's Day this Sunday. So, happy Father's Day to uh, all the dads in the world. Hope you uh, have a good day and get to relax. I'm going to play a bit of this before I give it to my dad. He found it in the loft um, earlier this year and uh, he asked if he could have it and I was like oh yeah yeah of course yeah go ahead just have it play the games you know Tetris and that he, you know he likes all the classic games and then we realized that the buttons didn't work so I said I'd uh, fix it for him and here it is all restored so happy Father's Day and uh, thanks very much for watching